Hey, how's it going today? And I'm excited to bring you another tutorial in Vegas Pro. And today I'm going to be doing what I'm calling a silky smooth crossfade effect. I was actually inspired to do this from seeing somebody doing this same type of thing in Adobe Premiere. And I was like, hey, I think that I can do that in Vegas pretty easy too. So I'll just walk you through the steps. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, a lot of fun. So anyway, we're starting this one video clip on the, the timeline. You could use two video clips for this. I'm just using one. Doesn't really matter. I don't Thing. So I'm just going to press control and I'm going to hold control down and click both clips. Then I'll press U on the keyboard to ungroup the clips. Then I'll select this lower track here and we'll hit delete to get rid of the audio track. That audio track, I don't need it. Okay, so now I've got my clip here and then what I'm going to do before I do anything else is you can actually just come over here on the clip and go duplicate track and it makes an exact copy. Now I've got this extra track down here I don't really need, so I'm gonna delete that. So I've got two of the exact same clips is what I want. The clip that you're gonna start with, you want on track two or the lower track. And then I'm gonna come here on the top clip and I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. I don't know, maybe like a few seconds like that. Okay, so then I'll come here, click on the second track and to differentiate it from the top track, I'm gonna make it black and white. So to do that, couldn't be any easier. You just click on effects, you go to black and white, you go add, you go okay. And it's up here. Now I actually know I wanna add another, I wanna add some contrast. So I'm gonna hit color curves as well and I'm gonna add that as well. And those are both built in Vegas effects. We go, okay. And so the black and white is up, I see that. And this first clip now should be black and white, but it looks a little washed out. So let me go back into the effects here and click on color curves. And what we can do is just pull down the, the shadows, not, you know, wanna go overboard with it, but you know, just make it a little more contrasty to make it look a little better. Okay, now what we wanna do is what we do to one, we wanna do to the other, so they're not that much different. So what I can do on this clip is right click and I'm gonna go copy. Then I'm gonna click on this top clip and if I go a right click, I can go paste event attributes. So now I've made both clips exactly the same, but I don't want them exactly the same, but I do want the contrast. So if I go into effects, all I've gotta do is just, I can click here and just delete. I can either delete it or just uncheck it. So now I've got the same level of contrast on my color clip as I do on my bottom clip. So the same contrast, but there's one's black and white and one's in color. And that's that, that takes care of that aspect of things. So now what we wanna do is create the so-called silky smooth transition, and that's relatively easy to do. So we're gonna come in here on the uh, top clip. We're gonna go to event pan crop. I wanna make sure I have my cursor synced, sync cursor, and I click here and I wanna go to the first keyframe. Now note there's always a keyframe on on these. They always come with a keyframe. So I'll click on mask here. And then what I'll do is I'll go up here to my, what do we call it? The rectangle square mask creation tool. <laughs> I guess you can call it the, if you wanted to seem like you were really into this, you could call it the SMC T. And then you just come over here, left click and drag, and you'll make your, your mask. And you'll notice over here on the monitor, you can, you can kind of resize this however you, however you want it you know, whoever you want the, the effect to start. We don't need to change our mask mode. We're gonna to go to feather type and we're gonna change that to both. We're gonna come here to feather and we're gonna push that all the way up to 50%. And you can see what it's gonna look like over here on the screen. And like I said, if you want it to start less or more, you can just click and drag here to do that. But it's say right about maybe where this, uh, this paddler is you see okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to just this shows the length of the clip which is a, like a, over a minute but we want the effect to start pretty soon so all i have to do is just click right about there and when i reposition now if you hit your scroll wheel you can zoom out a little bit then all you've got to do is come here and when you see the double arrow just click and drag this over the entire frame and that's basically the transition effect. And if we wanna adjust the timing of it, we'll, we can adjust this keyframe here, but let's take a look and see how we like the timing of things. So I'll click here and it's playing and it's playing and there's the paddler and the screen goes blue and then it starts transitioning. So maybe, maybe you want it to go a little bit faster. So all you gotta do is hit enter to stop play or press this to stop it go back into pan crop and just click on this 
and then just drag it in to speed it up a little bit more and just adjust it there. Now the other thing you can do to smooth the transition even more is if you click on this first keyframe right there and then you right click, you can change the, the transition and you probably want smooth, I would imagine, right? So you want to smooth everything to be smooth. And the other place you can smooth things, now we, we're almost done. If I play it back one more time, everything's good except you'll notice it just pops in. The, the transition is a little too abrupt. It just, boom, changes like that. So what we want to do is actually fade that effect in. So if we come up here, and this is one thing I love about Vegas Pro is the controls are right on the clip. So I just come up here to fade in. I don't have to drag in anything else. It's right there. And I just click and drag and I can adjust the timing of my effect. Now there's one other thing I can show you there too here. If we uh, click and let it play, 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 play. Okay, let it play. Now the effect just nicely kind of transitions in, although that's maybe a little too slow. So I can maybe give it about a second. Now if I hit my scroll and I zoom in a little bit more, and if I'm on this fade icon that pops up, if you right click, you have a choice here to adjust that transition as well. And again, we probably want it to be smooth. So I can click that and that should be a nice, a different type of fade in maybe. I think that goes a little faster that way. But you can play with the, the effect speed by adjusting the curve of and that's and that's it and then when you're ready to render it out all you got to do is just come up here and click and drag your loop region and i do recommend on the settings if you come up here and you click the property settings 32-bit floating um, best and disable resample and you go okay and you are done and off to the races and you've created a really cool smooth effect that you can use for any number of things so anyway thanks again for watching i hope you found this helpful i really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. It really means a lot to me. So thanks a lot, and I will talk to you guys later.